have eight dogs. I came to Mexico with three. I kid you not. I came with my Corgi Oliver, my beautiful Jack Russell Sadie, and my Great Pyrenees Marley. Marley has passed on. It's sad, but you know, it happens. Um, she was a great dog, but she was starting to go crazy and lose her mind. Like some of these dogs. Come on, guys. Now, I have eight. Uh, every single one of those. So, eight minus two. That's six dogs I picked up from the streets. Now, I'm not trying to brag. I'm actually kind of like, ugh. So, uh, whatever. That's irrelevant. The whole point of this video is to show you a razor I've been working on. One that's taking a very long time. And I apologize to the customer. But, at the same time, I can't really apologize that much because this is Cthulhu. And I've actually kind of decided to dub this Cthulhu Rises. It's really hard to see. This is in progress right now. And I actually didn't know, embarrassing, I didn't know who Cthulhu was or what it was. And I had to Google it. So, that's okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of bring it up to, uh, maybe you can see it, I don't know. But what Cthulhu is, is this, he's a, he's a, like a 19, I think, uh, 20s author made this like pure evil, I, I don't know how to do air quotes, there we go, pure evil like octopus man, and I'm working on making Cthulhu like gripping this razor, this is going to be his hand, I'm really, I'm, I'm working on my, my, my carving, it's very difficult, but this is going to be Cthulhu gripping this razor and riding it as like as if he's like going up. I decided on this particular point here because it, it kind of is reminiscent of, of the boat, the front of the boats or ships, whichever you prefer to call them. I'm sure Kurt is like freaking out because he's an actual captain of a, of a ship. Um, but this is Cthulhu holding on to the bow, <laughs> the bow of a ship. I like that. I use that word. The bow of a ship and just riding it. All the way up. What I'm planning to do is have like Cthulhu's tentacles like raving around the scale or the scale, the tail. Sorry, the tail of this of this um, razor. So this is actually a, a Japanese style style knife. I say that with quotations because it does have the Western grind. I'm trying to show that off to you. Um, yeah, and I'm doing all of this carving first right now with brazing. See if I have the torch around right. Oh, there we are. This bad man majamba right here is what gave me this gold ask. It's actually brass. So I, you, I brazed in all of this, like beforehand. This was just flat. Brazed it all on and added heat, 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 some brass, and bam. Whatever. Um, and now I'm using it to just show off this Cthulhu shape. I'll probably go through and add more. But I need to do all of this before I heat treat. So all of this has to be done, like, ready. Like, almost dis undiscernible from the finished product. Just a little bit of sanding and polishing. All that has to be done before I heat treat this razor, which adds a very large challenge. Because as you can see, Cthulhu's hand right here actually is in the bevel. So I need to figure out how to do that. And that's why it's taking so long. I'm not to mention carving with one of these. Um, this is basically a Dremel tool with a foot pedal, so I can control the speed like slow, fast. So it's kind of like a Dremel slash TIG welder, and that's how I do all of this carving with little bits like, like this. I don't know if you can see them, but every carving done with metal takes time, 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 and effort. And this is gonna be and hopefully you'll see it on the Instagram. I've done a horrible job keeping up with that. This is going to be what I'm calling Cthulhu Rising. And Cthulhu, and I'm really hoping to get his head shape right here to show off his face, his hands through here, like gripping the razor. And it's all up here, but it doesn't necessarily... <laughs> I really hope I can show you guys what I'm thinking here. And uh, yeah, maybe you'll see Cthulhu Rising in a razor instead of on in a book or a comic book. Anyways, that is just an update of what I'm working on right now, Cthulhu Rising. 
is probably one of my favorite projects of 2018. It was just so random. Uh, and any customer who comes to me and says, I have this idea, Cthulhu Rising, for example. He said, I want a custom razor. Cool, awesome, let's do it. You know, let's, let's make something awesome. And he said to me in, in, via email, he said, I want it in the theme of Cthulhu. I had no idea what Cthulhu was. I was like, what the, what are you talking about? What is Cthulhu? Um, so I Googled it, found out Cthulhu, and guess what? I, I didn't charge him extra. If you want a custom razor, whether it be Cthulhu, the Predator, I don't care. It could be Avatar. I'm not going to charge you any more. The only thing I'll charge you more for is if you want diamonds, platinum, gold, whatever. And it's just material costs. Why do I do that? Why am I the only razor maker who says, yeah, you know what? I'll do Cthulhu for the same price as any other custom razor. I'm bored. I need to have this stuff is fantastic inspiration for me. So when someone comes to me, a customer and says, I really want a Cthulhu razor. I'm not going to charge them more because people will say, wow, that's really beautiful. You know, so come to me with your crazy ideas, please pour them on me. Um, I know I'm not the cheapest razor maker, but you can get Cthulhu Rising, which doesn't look like much, but you'll see pictures. Um, you can get the Predator Blade, you can all that stuff, as long as it's original and your idea, same price. Um, a lot of people ask how much it's going to cost to get this. Same price. I don't want to do the math to figure out well, how many hours, no, 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 no. I want to be creative, I want to have fun. I want you as the customer to have something truly unique to you and Cthulhu Rising will be one of those things and it didn't cost this customer any more than it's gonna cost any other customer to get a straight razor made by me, Jacob Ray, because I want to be inspired. I want to be original. I want you guys to say, wow, that's crazy. And if I charge a bajillion dollars for this, no one would take it. So um, that's really just it. That's a little update. Cthulhu Rising. I'll keep you guys up to date on this and uh, the progress of it as we go. As of right now, it's not even heat treated. So it's got a while to go. Uh, I apologize again for the time it's going to take. But this will be truly, and I mean truly, epic. Um, Cthulhu, I really want him to look like he's just grabbing onto this razor and riding it. It's going to be cool. Anyways, that's going to be it. Please leave a comment below. Please don't ask how much it's going to cost to have blah, blah, blah. I just told you. It's the same price. Go to my website, Jacob Ray, R-A-Y, so J-A-C-O-B-R-A-Y, razors.com. If you don't know how much an original costs, you can find it there. I'm, mm, I don't really want to answer that question here. Um, it's all linked. So uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any tips or tricks, maybe something I could learn, I'm always down to learn. Uh, please leave it below. Thank you very much. And I sincerely hope you guys are having a great day.